idea that uh, we have for next season is uh, a story called The Miracle of Birth. And uh, it's a rather long-winded story about a couple of young kids who meet each other on a television dating program and embark on a whirlwind romance filled with the mafia and some guy who has some serious issues with animal husbandry. <laughs> which doesn't mean what I thought it meant when I first heard the term. I don't know if you knew that. Anyway, the point of this thing is, we have to have our young couple meet on a television dating program. And uh, there are going to be three bachelors and a bachelorette who has to choose among them. Now, these three bachelors are unique, shall we say. They have strange quirks, ways of behaving, or might possibly even be celebrities. So what quirks might these bachelors have? Obsessed with Twilight. Obsessed with Twilight. He can only speak in rhyme. <laughs> can Wear Velcro shoes. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Watching you. <laughs> what else? Believes he's a Pez dispenser. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the first one. <laughs> I like to be cruel to him. I don't know if I can be that cruel. One more. Rape fetish. I'm sorry? <laughs> Rake fetish? You said you like to be cruel. Rake fetish. I said rape. Hey. No, no, I heard you. <laughs> so, let's bring out our three bachelors now. And, uh, bachelors, here are your wonderful quirks. Ah, <laughs> uh, Barton can only speak in rhymes. <laughs> Tanner thinks he's a Pez dispenser. <laughs> There are two guys who are going to hate me for giving him this one, but Mike has a rake fetish. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's start the dating game! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, here are our three bachelors, and now let's bring on our beautiful bachelorette, Colette Women's Intuition! Hi, Welcome to the show. Wonderful to have you have a seat. Well, Colette, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'd love to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a massage therapist, oh. and I happen to own my own shop, and I'm an independent business owner at this time. I hope maybe you can visit my shop. It's uh, do that to me one more time, massage therapy. <laughs> and um, we just, we get a lot of calls about that. <laughs> that is wonderful, Colette. Well, we have three uh, bachelors that are very eager to meet you. <laughs> Bachelor number one, say hello, please. First, I would like to say hi. Maybe you can go eat some pie. Bachelor oh, number two, that? say hello. Hello. And <laughs> bachelor number three, if you will say hello to Colette. Right. Um, now, Colette, you're going to get to ask our bachelors some questions, so have at it. All right. Well, let's see. Let's start with bachelor number one. A bachelor number one, now, being a massage therapist in our shop, we use a number of scented oils and lotions, everything from vanilla to cookie dough to skunk oil, <laughs> just anything you can think of. Um, but what best describes your favorite scent and why? If I can start off and not to sound mean, I'd like to say I'd rather enjoy berries and cream. I love the smell and the way it feels when I take a shower and the sex appeal. <laughs> Thank you. We sell a lot of berries and cream at our shop. Um, bachelor number two, I'd like to ask you the same question. Like I mentioned, we use a lot of oils and lotions. And if you could describe your perfect scent, what, what would that be and why? Well, I suppose my perfect scent would be the smell of a uh, little well, tart flavored candy that mm -hmm. tastes like fruit but is really made out of powdered chemicals. <laughs> <laughs> Mixed with a 
scent of very cheap plastic. <laughs> right. <laughs> Interesting concept. Bachelor number two. Bachelor number three, I want to switch things up with you. All right. Um, I'd like to ask you a different question. Um, if you and I were to possibly land a date together with one another, um, what would your idea of a romantic evening entail? Well, I'd first grab you by your long, slender neck, <laughs> and I'd hold you tight. And then I'd run you across the ground and pick up all the sticks and leaves or things that fall out of the trees. And then I'd whip you into a pile and then stuff you into a plastic bag. I've <laughs> 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 had kinkier requests at the shop. All right. Um, bachelor number one, back to you. Um, if, if you were an animal, I kind of got an animal vibe from Bachelor number three, but if you were an animal, and I do adore animals, I like to think of myself as sort of a quillless, porcupine, fluffy sort of thing, but if you were an animal, um, what would you be and, and, and how, how would you describe your animal? I have a thing for cougars, so I call myself a kitty cat. I like them slender and sometimes fat. If I could, I would hit that. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Bachelor number two, same question. What type of animal best describes you and why? Uh, any kind of animal with a flip top head. You <laughs> <laughs> can just reach, you can lift up and pull a little thing of candy that looks kind of like a brick. <laughs> Those are some interesting animals. <laughs> Bachelor number three, I think I'm going to um, ask you the same question. If you were a type of animal, what would what type of animal would you be and why? Well, I'd be the kind of animal that might show up on your front lawn that you might have to swing a large instrument at. Something that might <laughs> hide up into the trees like a hornet's nest that you could just whip around and smack and throw to the ground and then just scrape it up. <laughs> All right, Colette. <laughs> You've gotten to know our bachelors a little bit. Have you uh, made your decision yet as to who you want to go on that fabulous dream date all the way out to Greater Coleman with? <laughs> Greater Coleman. Um, well, you know, I... I... I do believe I have made that decision. All right, tell um, us about who you didn't choose all right, and why. Let me tell you about who I didn't choose. Um, uh, bachelor number three I did not choose um, because he sounded like a, a very violent, possibly giraffe-hating, <laughs> <laughs> exterminating Giraffes. wrestler of exotic pets and um, someone that I just don't think I can keep very still on the table for very long. Well, regardless of the fact you didn't like him, he does not, in fact, hate giraffes. He is, in fact, an enchanted gardener who has a bit of a rake fetish. Come on out, Philip. Say hello to Colette. I'm sorry, I was looking forward to dragging you across the ground. Oh! <laughs> and you come in metal and plastic. <laughs> hey, who else didn't you pick and why, Colette? Well, um, bachelor number two, um, I was a little concerned with uh, regarding his, his sort of decapitory references <laughs> to animals with bricks coming out of their throats. <laughs> and, and so I, I, I don't know that I would want to go out with someone that is Pez-like, because that would be frightening. <laughs> yes, yes it would. Peter Pez, come on out, please. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to Colette. There you go. Oh, oh. It's for you. Thank I'd you. wash that. <laughs> All right, well, we know who that leaves. Go ahead and tell us, Colette. All right, well, Bachelor number one just intrigued me with his sense of rhyming, and, and I almost got a little nursery sense to it, like he was, like, 
Jack Spratt or little Jack Horner or someone, or, or Mother Goose maybe even, but, but someone who loved to tell stories. Well, he does love to rhyme, and uh, he's here all the way from Atlantic City, New Jersey. Vinny, come on out and meet oh. Colette! You picked oh. the best. You picked what's great. Tonight, I won't have to masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all the time we have. You two enjoy your beautiful, fabulous dream date to Greater Coleman. And now, you know how we say goodbye on the dating game. Here we go. Snippy.